What's going on guys, it's Ricky with TechBud Solutions and let's quickly talk about the robo taxi event that's going to be happening today. So Tesla is pretty volatile today. It uh, uh, initially started selling off right at market open, just like most of the market did. And of course, all of a sudden, even after what was reported today with the CPI data report and the initial claims and continuing claims, the market found its support and fully recovered. I'm so happy that we at least talked about that we cannot be surprised if the market all of a sudden begins to show signs of a potential reversal. But don't get me wrong, I got caught on the bad side of this trade. Uh, so check this out. NVIDIA was a stock that I opened up short on once it became overbought, but this dang thing is not pulling on back. NVIDIA is still incredibly bullish. Even when it was showing signs of potential weakness, it has not actually indicated full signs of reversal, and I'm down $5,200 so far on the day. Again, I'd like to show you guys both my green days and my red days. So again, as of right now, I'm not doing too hot when it comes down to NVIDIA. SMCI, I did walk away with $2,300 in the green as it began to indicate signs of an uptrend and then quickly took profits on that so again i made a portion of that back but overall this is the big what if what if again it doesn't actually sell off break its support and sell off then at that point i'm just gonna have to manage and mitigate my risk and i'll make sure that i keep you guys posted but the big focus that we have today is tesla tesla's robo taxi event is today and i want to share everything that is that you guys might need to know about it so exactly what time is it today october 10th it's at 7 p.m pacific standard time uh, or 10 p.m eastern time um, the event is supposed to showcase uh, a bunch of uh, unveil uh, potentially new new cars, uh, potentially an update on the Optimus robot, uh, and some updates on what's going to happen for 2025. So uh, I'm excited for it because this event was originally supposed to happen back in August. And then if you guys remember, he pushed this back to give it a little bit more time to be able to actually work on the prototype. Uh, so now finally, it's actually going to happen. And again, are they going to come out with a cheaper Tesla model? You know, I don't know what they would call it, right? But a cheaper Tesla that they actually are going to unveil. There's supposed to be some form of update when it comes on th to their full autonomous uh, driving. And then, of course, uh, the robot, which is the Optimus that we have right now. Um, is it going to be available? Any new updates on it? Uh, and again, that's going to be, uh, be playing a big role when it comes down to how the market is going to be trading tomorrow for Tesla. So as of right now, Tesla is at $240. The reason I want to talk about it very quickly is because Tesla is at a critical support range where if it does begin to break, it has a lot of downside potential. But if this event actually comes out way better than what is expected, then yes, Tesla could potentially begin to recover. I love talking about stocks that are about to experience a very you know significant event just like this because in the next days that follow, we should significantly see either a sell-off or a strong rally, and I'm so, so excited for it. Again, this event will be happening today. It's the Tesla uh, Robo Taxi event. It's at 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, and I wanted to ask you guys. I, we don't have to go live together. I know some of you guys do like when we go live together here on YouTube, of course, for free, uh, and we can watch the event as everything is unveiled and then share comments um, as it's all happening. So if you guys would like me to go live, all I literally ask you to do is drop a thumbs up on this video and make sure you subscribe to the channel just so I could see that enough of you want me to go live and we could actually um, do that together. The other thing that I quickly wanted to break down is is the series of reports that were released today. I did go live for the CPI data report. Thank you again for everyone who tuned on in. Overall CPI came in at 2.4% when expectation was 2.3%. And then overall core CPI came in at 3.3% when the expectation was 3.2. So both core and overall CPI actually came in a little bit higher than what was expected. So again, that's not necessarily good news, but again, the market is reacting in the way that it is. On top of that, we had initial claims and continuing claims. Initial claims are the people that file for unemployment for the first time and who continue to file for unemployment on the continued claims. Both came in higher than what was expected, showing that the labor market might actually be slowing down. And again, is that something that the Federal Reserve wants to see? 
we shall see. Uh, but as of right now, again, I'll make sure that I keep you guys posted. My big focus for the day is shorting this overbought and overvalued piece of crap AI come. Just kidding. Um, <laughs> it's trying to get out of this short position. Uh, I'm very excited to follow up. I'm keeping my LVP team up to date on every trade I take uh, when it comes down to NVIDIA. And again, I would love to keep you guys posted. If you guys ever want to watch me trade live, just like I've shown you within this video, you get to see all of my good trades, all of my bad trades. It's just a raw live trading session and I host it every day. So if you're someone that learns best by watching other people do i'd love to see again if you would see value in our lpp team and again that's the second link in the description down below and we do have a coupon code in there for you where it will save you 200 off if you're ready to sign up right now i appreciate your time like always let's make sure that we in the year on a green note take care team